What is up guys, it is Spooky here and today I'm doing a video, kind of like a story time, of talking about the first time I went to my first college party. Now, I went to a school back in Los Angeles when I used to live in California. Now this school was kind of like a art school, so there was no campus and there was no kind of fraternities or sororities, it was just like you went to a class, there was kids there, and you did the work. It was film school. You were nerds. You were all nerds. So my first party happened when I was probably about, I would say, 18. Yeah, I was 18. I was dating my second girlfriend at a time that I've been dating for a while. And what happened that led up to this was that her parents decided, hey, I don't think you should date our daughter anymore because you're the reason why she's doing bad in school. Oh, I really, really, uh, you know, I, I, I respect that and uh, <laughs> just, just give me a chance, I'm a, I'm a good guy, come on. <sighs> That's good and all, son, but uh, you can't date her anymore. Bye, click. My girlfriend's parents broke up our relationship for us. So I was really depressed, I was sad and everything. I honestly think it was my birthday too. That No, 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 it was a little after my birthday because my birthday was in September. And so my friend at the time who was going to film school with me, who was also American, a lot of kids in that school were not American. Just, just letting you know, quick little fun fact. So she had called me and she said, hey, listen, there's a party going on. Do you want to go? Now, mind you, at the time when I was in high school, I was a kid, mm, no to drugs, no to alcohol. <laughs> Parties are for losers. College swung around and well, the rest is kind of history. For the most part, I was a good kid. Still, I'm a very good kid, but I've made my mistakes and I've learned from them. So I said, hey, you know what? I'm scared, but sure, let's go. So I take my Ford Ranger at the time, because I was driving a pickup a truck, but now I drive a really cool little fast muscle car, but that's near here or there. So I'm driving down in downtown, it's not in downtown Burbank, but it is Burbank. I forgot what the other Glendale, I think that's what it was. Uh, back in Los Angeles. So I'm driving up to this party, I'm thinking, hey, big house bumping party, got my hat on, you know, I'm feeling good, I got my glasses on, it's nighttime, but who really gives a shit, you know, I'm driving, driving. My friend calls me, hey Brandon, by the way, can you pick up two Mountain Dews for us, liters? Uh, huh. what? But yeah, so I bought two Mountain Dews, liters, I think from some like grocery store, maybe even a gas station that was around the corner, and I drive up to this mountain, and basically this mountain is, uh, I forget what the apartments are called, but it was right across one of the buildings from my school. My school was split up into five different buildings amongst this Los Angeles city. And Los Angeles like districts, okay, it's like district one, two, three, four, it's basically like the Hunger Games, but like in real life, so it kind of freaking sucks. So I drive up to this hill, and this hill is, is notorious for having kids that or kid actors and stuff or that are going to film school. They stay there and they live there. So I knew this, my friend had lived there. It's super expensive to live. I clock, basically there's like a little gate you have to get into and I call my friend, hey, I'm here, I don't know how to get in. She's like, hey, park outside the gate and walk inside or follow somebody like a, a complete stranger and uh, try not to get arrested or die. Uh, okay. So here's the first thing. I didn't know it was an apartment, first of all. Okay, I thought we were going to like some kind of house, house party. Now, the party has turned in my head from this big, yeah, you know, getting drinks, girls, pools, slowly slipping down to an apartment. Oh, but it gets interesting. Believe me, apartment parties were very something else, man. So I get into this apartment, right? I think my friend me met me outside. She walked me up and you have to go into these different buildings. It's kind of like a maze, so you're just kind of trying to, you're like a mouse looking for the cheese. So we eventually found the cheese, right? And as soon as, I shit you not, as soon as we got to the apartment, there's these two girls, hold up, let me, let me get my wig real quick. There's these two girls, one of them looks like this. They come rolling in in the shopping cart, they got drinks in their hands, right? I don't know what the hell they were drinking or what they had in their hands. But one of them's in the shopping cart, the other one is like kind of rolling and pushing her down this hole and they're screaming, yeah, party, woo, yeah, you know, I'm gonna get drunk, get, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh. 
I'm over here, look at my bun, my bun's all messed up, I'm kinda mad about that. I'm over here, and I have no clue what is going on, but these girls are looking swagalicious, like they about to do some twerking, and drop the whole entire earth because of that. So these girls just come out of nowhere on a shopping cart, and just basically say, hey, we're here to party. I didn't know what to do. I was like, alright, maybe it might be a little poppin'. Who knows? So this big Indian guy, I, I guess the host, just comes out. I mean, he's not big like me. He is just super freaking tall, and I'm looking at him like, hello, my Gandhi friend. <laughs> you kind of tall. And he's like, hey, you know, and he's speaking perfectly good English. I, I, I had a different stereotypical, you know, outlook on him, but that's neither here nor there. And uh, he's basically, hey, girls brought drinks. I'm the host, my other friends in the back, come inside. As soon as he opens the door, whoosh, whoosh, the smell that I've never smelled before and never came to terms with that maybe was the smell that I smelled in high school bathrooms all the time. Weed, whoo, hookah, woo, and alcohol that's been dropped on the floor. For those of you people who do that, you are complete just, I hate you. I hate you. All these, like, it's like a, it's like, <laughs> It's like walking into Vegas and literally, this is the mall perfume aisle, just whoosh, and I'm just whoosh, take that all in. I'm like, wow, this kind of smells like worser than like a boy's gym locker room. My friend's like, don't worry about it, it's gonna be fun. You got the Mountain Dew. I'm like, yeah, I got the Mountain Dew. The guy's like, hey, you're the guy that has the drinks we're gonna be mixing, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy. So I get inside, right? They start setting up drinks. I'm not drinking. I still was like, I don't wanna party. I literally didn't drink anything the whole night, but let me tell you, it was fun watching people. So my friend's having a good time. She knows pretty much everybody in the room. I had gotten food. I think I got, I forgot what I got, but I got some kind of food, but it was a burger. And I literally sat inside one of the hostess rooms, ate my burger, and there was another kid with me, and we were just sitting down. We didn't really party. We were eating our burgers in the back room. Okay, but this is where it gets interesting. As soon as we got done with our food, this is a small apartment. This is no bigger than the condo I live in, not condo, but a, a little room that I live in, in my house, uh, in, uh, well, that I'm living with in my roommate's house in Virginia. It is small. I mean, living room, bathroom, and kitchen, that's it, okay? <laughs> so, I decide when I'm done, I'm like, hmm, that was some good food. Maybe I'll go outside and, and get myself some of that Mountain Dew. What do I come to terms with? There is no more Mountain Dew, but there is one lady, one chick, the chick that came on on the shopping cart is chugging down my Mountain Dew that I paid money for, man. I'm looking at her, I'm like, are you serious? Like, can I have some of that? It's like, oh, I'm sorry, but hey, do you want some alcohol? No, no, I don't. So I decided at this point, I'm gonna go take, I, I'm gonna go pee. You know, make, you know, I, I've had a lot of water in the day, let me go pee. I go to the bathroom, guess what I see? I see these two girls making out in the bathroom. I, I'm not kidding. There's two girls and then a guy walks in there because he wants to pee too. The floor is like completely drenched in, in, in piss. I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what causes people to just woo, you know, like trying to clean out and, and put down the fire that's happening on the floor, but that's what happens. So literally, it's already starting like a bad night because my, my shoes at the time were just covered in complete just piss of just nastiness on the floor. So I'm like, all right, fine. Let me go outside. I go outside, people are doing hookah, and they're talking about, hey, man, these are very, like, smart kids. They're all older, like, 25, 26. They're hanging out with, like, 20-year-olds, and they're like, hey, man, you like hookah? And I felt like it was, like, one of those dare commercials. Like, they are kind of, like, peer pressuring me. Hey, kid, you want a cigarette? And, like, the cigarette was kind of, like, talking to me, but in this case, it was, like, the hookah hose, like, Come on, just give me one of those stuff. I'll make your, your lungs nice and black, pinky. Like, nah, nah, I'm good. And then they go into the science of how hookah is developed and how it actually is worse than cigarettes and all this other stuff. And once again, I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, uh, I'm a go. <laughs> so I go into the middle of the living room. You know what happens? These two Indians, the Indian host and his friend, decide to have an Indian, like, J-Ho, slumdog millionaire get down. And literally, they start blasting this Indian, like, hip-hop music, like, J-Ho! I'm gonna play it like a music. <laughs> Their dancing is, is extremely cool, but it was too funny to see all these people dancing to this Indian music. I felt like I was in India. So I decided at this point, hey, I'm done. Let me go back to the host room. Let me see if I can catch some Z's. Go to the host room. 
Uh, I decided to wash my hands up a bit because I don't know what kind of nasty germs and STDs might be floating around by this night in this small little uh, sweatshop of a room. And what do I see? The main host, mind you, host of parties are not supposed to drink. As soon as I wash my hands, I see the host walk by, gives me a little wave. Hey, man. I'm like, hey, are you alright? He's like, no, no, I'm good. Walks over literally to the bed I was gonna sleep on, and what does he do? Like, he literally projectiles everywhere, falls down, falls asleep, and vomits more in his sleep. And I'm like, uh. Uh, do I call 911? Do I call the popo? Do I, I do I call who do I call for this? I didn't know some other guy came over. He literally took a snapshot. He's like, oh man, dude, sick. All right, let's go. You know, Snapchat, Instagram, taking pictures with him. I'm like, so, so do I call somebody or do I? literally at this point, party's about to get shut down. Literally, no cops that came. But the reason why this party got shut down, and, and there's still more to come, like. There was the girls that I was talking about, the hoes in the beginning of the story. Okay, they're twerking in, 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 in the small room, okay? Having fun, everybody's getting messed up. There was like tons of alcohol purchases, but literally I think it got spilled all over the damn floor half the time. And I didn't really talk to nobody. I was one of those bystanders. This is only one, like my first party I ever went to because in high school I was a totally clean kid, didn't want to do anything. <laughs> and it was just funny to watch all this. But at the end of the night, basically, the reason why we all left was because this other Indian friend came over and was like, Whoa, everybody, everybody, listen to me. Okay, the other guy is throwing up in the back. So all you guys have to leave. Is that all right? You know, is that cool? Cool. We're gonna keep our alcohol. Um, you guys all gotta leave. And uh, thanks for buying us shit that we can now keep. Because his parents, okay, the host's parents were flying in from, I guess, India, or whatever, the next morning, and he wanted to take care of them. How sweet. Okay. <laughs> Everybody was pissed. Everybody smelled like shit. Nobody could sleep in this freaking apartment. He didn't want nobody sleeping in there. Okay, I didn't drink anything, and my friend was like kind of all right at this point. And I was like, hey, do you need a ride home? Do you need anything? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm all right. She wound up passing out at her friend's house that lived in an apartment. I went back home, and I had called my friend up, <laughs> and my friend's Christian, right? And I was like, hey, I went to my first party. It's like, oh my god, Brandon, you really are a sinner now. You are a rebel. Well, geez, thanks, so and so. But it was so fun. He's like, yeah, but it doesn't sound like a party that I used to go to. I'm like, so you're calling me out, but yet we have the same, same situation going on. Did you at least have sex? I'm like, no. Why? Mm, doesn't sound like much of a party then. Click. All right. <laughs> so, moral of the story. I had a lot of fun my first party. It was a weird experience in Los Angeles. I still have tons of stories. I want to do more story times. I have tons of more party stories that are somewhat funnier and gradually progress throughout time. So I'll talk about that more. This was my first story time kind of video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Spooky, and at the end of the day, guys, stay safe. If you're gonna party, if you're gonna drink, if you're gonna do all these different things, please have somebody with you. Please have a ride home. Please just get yourself somewhere safe and just do it responsibly, or just don't do it at all. Because abstinence and, and not drinking are the best ways to keep your, yourself safe, as, as high school and middle school taught us, which I got kicked out of sex, sexual education class one time. Maybe I'll put that in a story. But at the end of the day, guys, I love you, and don't forget to share the love. Wha